Today we have major freaking news on Roblox, which is a bunch of developers are really mad at Roblox. Roblox YouTubers are selling their YouTube channels. Another new scam is going around Roblox and more. But first, you're gonna wanna talk to my Uncle Al. Hey brothers, listen, I just heard from Aunt Sally that Chase Rooney is close to a million subscribers. So here's the deal. You subscribe to him right now and guess what? I ain't gonna run you over with my truck. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Yo! Welcome back to another Roblox news video. We have more big Roblox news. Can you believe it, guys? We have big Roblox news. Another big news video on Roblox. Can you believe it? No, but actually, we have a lot of big news, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Today, we have a, a pretty interesting video, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started with the smaller ones. Um... Number one, the Roblox game Doors has had some issues with copyright, apparently. So, L Splash uh, tweeted out this, actually asking for help because of uh, uh, this silly goose is re uploading the, the OST for Doors and is now copyright striking YouTubers, apparently. That's absurd. Hold on. Yeah, here's the tweet and uh, let's, let's see. Someone called Valentine uploaded the Doors OST onto Spotify and is now copyright striking videos with it. Is there anything that I can actually do about it considering that it's my music? And, and it doesn't even have copyright. So yeah, TLDR, there's music indoors, and it's made by Lightning Splash, and someone else took it and is re-uploading it, and is now going to YouTube videos and taking them down, because they're, they're pretending that they actually own the music, when they don't. So, um, that's not good. If, if you don't know, if you somehow don't, if you can't see, that's really bad. So any YouTuber that's uploaded a Doors video that has the background music in the video is, is if they could potentially be given a strike, and they're not talking about, like, a copyright claim. Claims are different claims you just like lose a couple bits of your money or like half your money on the video and half of the money actually goes to the the claim but a strike is different because you actually get striked and you it's like a warning it's like a really big warning and i think if you get one strike you can't live stream anymore for like a, a couple months or something and if you get two strikes you can't upload for two weeks and if you get three you get deleted so this is not good especially for a lot of doors youtubers that might have multiple videos on their channel very dangerous uh, i don't know if this has been fixed but uh, it probably has by now it's been a couple uh it's been almost a day at this point and uh this is something pretty big so i think it would be fixed by now because it is a pretty big issue but um yeah that's what's going on they are uh, if you're a youtuber watching this be a little bit careful but uh you'll probably be fine at the end of the day it's not like a, a crazy thing uh you can easily uh refute the the strikes and stuff like that but yeah that's what's going on uh be careful uh anyways let's move on to another smaller story which is zonic actually was selling his channel so if you don't know who zonic is i think i talked about him a little while ago because because he needed to be banned off Roblox and, and out of the star program. So TLDR, Sonic has been around for years on Roblox. I think, I think he was a big YouTuber around 2018 for bad reasons. <laughs> he like stole a lot of content and he like did a lot of bad things on Roblox. And somehow, uh, I think earlier this year, he got put in the star program. I don't know how, but with that, a lot of YouTubers were actually mad. And, and they made a couple videos talking about how is this guy in the star program? I even did it because it was kind of outrageous because he would upload videos of him exploiting using like bad exploits like not like aimbot or anything like that but like inappropriate exploits like i can't even explain it on the video because i will get demonetized but he was in the star program i mean exploiting is one thing but the exploits he was using were even worse there's also other videos where he would literally just show like inappropriate roblox stuff i'm pretty sure he, he's not a he's not a uh <laughs> a innocent youtuber you know yeah, a lot of people made videos about it a lot of people talked about it and he eventually got removed from the star program and i think he got banned off roblox again because before he actually was banned on roblox i don't know why exactly but yeah it, it's a whole thing but TLDR recently it was found on a YouTube channel selling website that he is trying to sell his YouTube channel for $25,000 which I feel like that's not enough for a channel with 3 million subs but then again looking at his at the channel's history I mean it's probably worth like 10 bucks so yeah as you can see this is his channel now he, he, uh, you can see he just uploads shorts which actually correlates with him actually selling the channel I'll, I'll explain in a second yeah so here's his uh, channel and he just uploads stuff random stuff yeah i don't know i think he should use tweet thumbnails uh, maybe <laughs> yeah he would just upload like weird videos sometimes and normal videos others it was it was a it was an interesting channel but now he's actually trying to sell the channel as i wrote this uh idea down in my notepad for this video the channel actually sold I, and we don't know to who but basically zonic actually said uh, tldr 
He said, I don't want to do YouTube anymore. I don't want to upload long form content. I only want to do TikTok. So I don't know what his TikTok is. It's probably just Zonic. But apparently that's where he's going to be staying from now on. Uh, don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Yeah, I guess he sold the channel to someone and they're in the process of actually owning the channel. I wonder what this is going to turn into, guys. Make sure to have this channel on lock, man. I want to see what it turns into. Is it going to be a Bitcoin scam? Is it going to be a, a company? I feel like it's going to be a company. No, no random person is just going to spend $25,000. I also saw people like Flamingo or Albert actually saying that he wanted to buy it, which is really funny. I think he should have, but then again, he's actually putting money in the pockets of Zonic, but I mean, it's kind of worth it. I mean, you get this epic YouTube channel that you can post whatever you want on. <laughs> that would be really funny, but it's uh, then again, it's also very against TOS. So I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if this channel actually gets completely deleted in a couple days or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky, but uh, it's funny. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens to this channel, guys. Get excited. But anyways, let's move on to the next story, which is actually kind of a big one, okay? And it's a new scam that's going around now it's actually not new it's like resurfacing i guess so i just want to bring attention to this because uh it got really popular on tiktok wow look at the likes on this one when i first saw this video last night i think it had 3,000 likes and now it has a hundred thousand wow so anyways there's a new scam going around around like a year ago i actually noticed a similar scam like this so let me explain what's going on here. So they basically say GTA on Roblox, skull emoji, bruh. Or it's basically GTA playing inside of a Roblox client. So if you look, you can see uh, there's this. You can see the little Roblox leaderboard. You can see some Roblox buttons. Now what's actually going on here is I guess they just have like a, a, a GIF of GTA 5 gameplay. Somehow they made a little animation on Roblox with GTA. Like They just uploaded a bunch of decals, I guess. I don't know. Did it somehow, they made like a little video of GTA and it's not actually playing actually in the game. But how this game works is they tell people to go to a profile, which I'll, I'll go forward in the video. So yeah, they say, go to this account, which yeah, you basically go to this thing and they have a game where it says GTA on Roblox and it costs money. It costs 400 Robux usually. I think the last time it was 400 Robux. And as soon as you get into this game, okay? As soon as you buy it, it's gonna put you in a queue, okay? It's gonna say you are now in queue to play GTA on Roblox or something like that or test cloud streaming. Once you're in the game, you're just gonna infinitely wait because there's no queue. You're just sitting in a game doing nothing and that's the whole scam you just they make you think that you're gonna be able to play gta and roblox and you're not now you might be thinking okay this is stupid who would believe this the reason it is so believable is because people have done this in the past you know there's people that are playing roblox instead of roblox you know and stuff like that there's people that were live streaming their desktop in roblox like there's been a lot of stuff like this but this is just not it this is the complete scam do not believe these that's all i gotta say okay guys and you know what just just to humor you guys just in case you're still curious i'm gonna go check out the actual uh and i'm gonna buy the game just to show you guys all right, let's go to this epic game. Ooh, dot, dot, dot. 389 visits. That means 389 people bought this. Let's see how much it costs. Oh, 300 Robux, guys. See, I told you. I didn't even have to look at it. I didn't even have to look at it. I already knew, dude. These poor souls wasted 300 Robux for nothing. This is a shame. This is completely a shame. But yeah, don't fall for this. I've seen it going around TikTok again, and I just wanted to warn you guys. But now let's move on to the biggest story of the day, because I've been seeing it all over Roblox. And as you can see, even on just this page, you can see one of the ads, remove DevX. So in my last video, uh, or my last last video, I don't remember. I talked about uh, how Hazem was actually making a bunch of Roblox ads to kind of make a joke uh, about taking over Roblox. A bunch of other devs saw that, and they actually used use that strategy to protest as you can see we got hashtag remove devx which i really like the ones that are joking you know i found one that was lower devx this one's remove devx let's check out who owns this one. oh sword fight and steal time that's pretty epic but yeah if you actually go and you just refresh your front page you're gonna see ads saying raise devx i've seen some other ones that have similar words on it and you know i first saw these ads and i was like that's pretty cool you know devs you know devs i feel like they don't get paid fairly enough by roblox unless maybe they do i'm not a developer i'm not like a real developer so i don't really understand how it works i do know that it's kind of hard for smaller devs to make a lot of money on roblox and really the only people that are like making billions are you know the pet simulators and and the you know the people like that so i was like okay i wonder who's actually starting this protest right so i actually clicked on the ad so the original raised devx ads were actually hosted by big games you know the pet simulator guys that i was mentioning before and you know i, I agree with the whole sentiment of raising devx but Preston is a billionaire, okay? Who? Can <laughs> I guess the NFTs he was selling just just got refunded, so he needs to he needs to make that money back somehow, you know? Dude, look at both of these ads on my screen: hashtag DevX and hashtag Raise DevX. But the one bad thing about this is that there's normal people that make that make normal ads, like the person on the right here. And the problem with this is that when they put a bunch of money up, since there's people like Preston or like other big games making making these advertisements. 
they're flooding the ad space and these people that that bid maybe like a thousand to ten thousand robux for ads they're not getting that many impressions the more people putting ads on roblox the less your ads are going to be seen you know what i mean yeah it's funny it's a funny little thing and and i hope something good happens out of it and roblox is in big trouble anyways i gotta go bye bye